you can also go back to that video uh, page and filter like I just showed you to create those playlists or to create highlights. So let's go over how you can actually create a playlist. Um, like uh, Coach Cat mentioned, uh, you are all gonna be asked to kind of create a playlist just so you can kind of learn how to do that. So let's go over exactly how you can do that now. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a game that's been broken down by Huddle Assist. The way you can tell if a game's been broken down or not is whether or not it has this little tag here. Uh, if it has that little tag, you know it's been broken down. So we'll go ahead and just click on this first one here against Adam Central. That's gonna go ahead and open up this uh, video for us. Uh, once again, you're gonna see those tags across the bottom of the screen once this video loads up. My internet seems to be a little bit, uh, a little bit choppy right now, so I apologize. And like I said, the key here to filtering in these uh, videos to find exactly the video that you wanna focus on is going to be this filter bar here on the right-hand side. So I, as a player, can come in here and let's say I just wanna find um, the moments where I touch the ball. That's all I wanna see. I just wanna see the moments of this game where I played a role in this game. I can come down here, click on my name, click on Parker, and once I do that, you'll see that it tells me here that there were 24 moments in this game where I played a role in this. Um, and you'll see down here, it's filtered down to show me just those. And I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard to quickly go from one of those tags to the next so that I'm able to see exactly where I played a role in this game. And then I can put filters on top of filters. So if I want, I can come down here. Let's say I just wanna see all of the serve attempts that I did. I did none. So you can see if I don't have any on this, it'll show you automatically you just didn't have any on that. Well, let's say I wanna take these 24 moments here and I wanna put those uh, into a playlist. To do that, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this button here that says add to your clips. When I do that, you'll see here, it says your clips up here. And now there's a 24 next to it because I just sent 24 there. I can go ahead and click on that. And once I click on that, um, it'll be taking me to this place here where I can see all 24 of those individual clips here. So if I want, I could share these in a playlist as is, and I wouldn't have to worry about um, editing them anymore. But uh, if I do wanna edit them further, all I have to do is click on the clip that I wanna edit. Then you'll see here that I have a couple different options. Uh, at the bottom of my screen, I can make this clip shorter or longer by dragging in or out uh, the ends of this blue bar. Up here, I can leave a comment if I want on this uh, play. So if I wanted to leave a comment uh, about my performance, I could do that. I can also click on this little scribble line here, and that will allow me to draw directly on the video. So then I'll have a bunch of different uh, options here for arrow, for freehand, for circles, to kind of show like, oh, I was in the wrong position, I should have been somewhere else. And I can save that. And once I'm done editing this individual clip, I'll go ahead and hit save clip here. That clip will be saved. And once I'm good to go, I can go ahead and send these clips to either a playlist or to a highlight. So uh, once you have clips created, you have the ability to either send these in a, a playlist or to highlights. You're gonna use both of these. Uh, if you click send to highlights, that's going to send these clips to your highlight page so that you can create a premium highlight reel, uh, which we'll talk about here next. Uh, for this purpose, we're gonna go ahead and share these in a playlist. So go ahead and click on share in playlist. It's gonna open up this box here. Um, you can go ahead and give this playlist a name. Um, so usually what you would do is, is go ahead and just, um, you know, your, your coach might actually have a way that they prefer you to name these. Um, so I would just kind of look to see if, if Coach Cat does have an idea of what they want that to look like. Uh, a lot of teams will just have you use your initials and then dash and then whatever you um, did for that one. Then you can share this playlist with whoever you'd like. Uh, by default, it's gonna be shared with your coaches and your admins, so they'll see any playlist that you create um, just because admins do have that ability to see everything that's happening on their profile. Um, and then um, you can also share this with your, like I said, with your coaches, and if you wanna send a message to your coaches about this playlist, you can do that. Once you're good to go though, go ahead and hit save uh, playlist. That playlist will be saved. Um, it'll be uh, right in your library. And it's also gonna be sent to the library of anybody who you shared that with as well. So your coaches will get a notification letting them know that that playlist has been created. And then they'll see that playlist right there. Uh, when they open it, they'll see all of those clips that you added into there. Um, they're also going to see uh, any comments or drawings that you made on it. Your coaches are actually able to go into there and make a reply to any of the comments or the drawings that you made. 
So this really allows you to have some one-on-one -on -one coaching with your coaches, uh, even if you're not necessarily on the court right away at that moment in time. Um, so playlists are awesome. They're a great tool for you to learn and for you to um, really lean into seeing how you are as a player on the court and then kind of making those into shorter chunks into those clips really allows you to focus in on specific moments of the game. 